Good morning, YouTube, or good night, depending on where you are. Um, we have a very special guest on the show on today, um, Stephen from The Harvest is Ready. Uh, Stephen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I came to Hong Kong about 20 years ago. So as you have just said, I'm, I'm currently in Hong Kong. I grew up in New Zealand, but I was born in England. So it gets very confusing when it comes to um, when someone asks me, where do you come from? And they get really right. cross-eyed and they say, when I say, I'm from Hong Kong, and they go, but you're not Chinese. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah, I came to Hong Kong because I believe God told me that um, that's where I'm meant to be. And I did some Christian work there for a few years. And, ah, that's wonderful. And um, yeah, you know, honestly, you know, things, I got a bit distracted and stuff in my, li in my life and what God really wanted me to do. But in the last few years, I've been um, back into ministry and... Um, been doing um, quite a few trips into the Philippines, um, doing outreaches and programs for the local communities over there. And I've made some Wonderful. really, really, really good contacts over there, which has been really amazing. And more recently, I've been um, been doing getting my media ministry up and running to help churches with their media streams, in particular to in the low end range, because it can be exceptionally daunting to set up. I'm telling you. Yeah exceptionally daunting to set up a live stream especially when your budget is on a, on the on the low end you know, so right yeah so my goal is to provide low-cost solutions that are either free or very little basic with you trying to work out how to use existing equipment to best do the job you know, so yeah right so i i truly believe that we have a similar vision um we've been given a, a similar mandate in this time you know um for me, uh, some of it is just a hobby, mm -hmm. but like there's a part of it that is, you know, um, really ministry minded, you know, um, and in this time, especially with the rise of the coronavirus, I feel like it's very timely. Like God is really calling for people who are innovators to help those who yeah, may not have adjusted with the times. There's, there are many people who are very anointed who have the call of God in their lives, but um, just didn't have the resources or yeah, um, just didn't know whether to turn. It was, it, it could be a little bit overwhelming, you know? So, yeah. um, there's so, many, so I appreciate. Right. Yeah. There's so many choices out there, right? There's so many things right. that, and uh, when I look out there, they say, okay, you need to buy this camera or this thing or this setup. And then you go and look it up and, and Hong Kong a dollars. Thousand. Oh, as, oh, I saw one church, they said, oh, this is, you know, we wanted, we were on a tight budget and we bought eight of these cameras. And I looked at each one and each one was 50,000 Hong Kong dollars, which rates to about 8,000 US each. You know, so it's sort of like low budget. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it depends it depends on <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. that that term is used very loosely you're, you're definitely right about that yeah. but um like like you said we're really targeting the small to to medium-sized church um one last question mm -hmm. um do you have any do you have anything to say to um people in ministry people who are ministering mm. during the time of the coronavirus is there anything that you, you would like to encourage them about or give them advice on? Yeah, the one thing that's really hit home to me is that we as a church, I think, have lost fact that we are the body. The building is not the church. Right. And yes, we've got to change our thinking in that sense. I think there's, a, there's no coincidence when the Bible says where two or more are gathered in his name. There I am in the midst. And if you look right. at most requirements, like in Hong Kong, we've, we're we still in a, a bit of a lockdown situation and we're only really allowed to gather in groups of two, right? Mm -hmm. But what does it, the Bible says, his presence is still there. You don't have to go to a physical building to experience the presence of God. Now, I'm exactly. not saying to abandon your churches or anything like that. I'm saying... Most of it's um, the church is so valuable. Your pastor is so important because um, they're your spiritual leadership. They're this, your spiritual guidance and everything like that accordingly. But just because you're not meeting together, don't make that an excuse to slip away from God. You know, you, use it to bring you closer to God because 
his word is true his word is valuable and whether you're watching online or whether you're watching otherwise it's the same thing you can still experience his presence and his glory through your lives and you can still be yeah really blessed and this is why i believe in media um most definitely me too um is such a powerful medium to actually get the message of god across so yeah right 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 yeah. right definitely um thanks again for 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 coming on the show we appreciate you over here we'll definitely be having you again hey that uh, um, it's been absolutely awesome it would be really great to know how you know what you're, you're getting up to and how you're supporting your community both in your local town and also in the internet and stuff and yeah most definitely um the link to his channel is in the bio below so uh like comment subscribe to his channel he has a lot of valuable information yeah. thanks again for tuning in hey guys god bless hey if you've got any questions please ask right yeah my advice is free there's no charge there's no there's no catch you know so yeah god bless